Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we created the pagination array. Now all we have to do is just show that over here and then um, add an event so that when user clicks it, we send into that particular page which is being clicked. And we also need to create the previous and next. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we'll close all of this. Just keep the pagination open. Now what we want to do is we want to check if there is the next page or not. So is there next page? So if the current page is less than total pages, that means there is the next page. Then we'll check if their previous page. So if current page is greater than one, that means that there is a previous page. We've also got the pagination array. Just, let's just take this down. Okay, and then what we want to do is get the page link. So get page link. So we we'll pass the page number. This is just basically to create the URL when the user clicks on that page number. Where do you want to send the user? So we want to send the user to slash page and then whatever that page number is that has been clicked. So we can say page number. So remember that in the app.js we had created a route called slash page. So when the user goes onto that page, that ID, the ID will be available in the props, right? <clears throat> so we can get access to that and then we can display the post data depending on which page is being accessed. Okay, awesome. Next thing we'll do is over here, let's just give it a class name called page nation. So we want the previous link first. So we'll check if is there previous link, is there previous page? If it is, then we'll add a link and that goes to get page link. And all I have to do is just pass the page number. Oops current page minus one okay so previous page will always be current page minus one right so that's the link okay and we also want to add okay right okay and we can name it as um, Let's say we can name it as previous, right? So let's name it as previous. Let's also give it a class name. Class name of priv. Okay, and we want to add an event so that if this is clicked, then in that case, uh, we should actually set the current page value to current page minus one because he's clicked the previous page. We want to go to the previous page. So we can say on click. <coughs> you know, what? let's just break it down to new line. It's getting too messy. Okay. Right. Okay, so I mean you can fix the indentation and all that. Let's focus on the work first. Okay, so class name. So on click. So what do what do we want to do on on click? We want to attach an event where I'm gonna call a function called set current page. Remember we had passed this function from the top. So from posts we are passing this function set current page and initially the value of the current page is the page id whatever we are passing from the props and then this function is going to set it the value of the current page so we're just passing this function so this function will be called and the value of the current page will be set so we just need to pass the value of the new 
page number, which will be current page minus one. Okay, awesome. So let's continue. Now we are also going to check if there is next page. So again, copy this, paste it. Is there next page? If there is, then this value will change to current page plus one. Class name will go to next. And that's about it. We just need to import the link as well. So import link from reach router. Okay, awesome. Now I should have the uh, next button available because, yeah, we have the previous. Oh, this is next, not previous. So we have the next because of course we are on the first page right now so we should have the next page button available awesome great so that's done now if we click on this you can see that it goes to page two because that's what we are doing right here okay and let's just fix this so the reason why it's showing error is because loopable array is not function is because we missed to write push over here so say push and then that should work as expected awesome so you've got all of the posts being displayed from the page number three if we check the network uh, you can see that page number three is being fetched awesome great and now we have the previous button as well if we click on previous you can see now again this should be page number two. There you go, we have page number two. Earlier it was page number three. So you've got the previous and next uh, buttons working perfectly fine. All we have to do now is just add the page numbers as well, okay? Awesome. So let's continue over here. So we've got a pagination array. We just need to loop through it. So the first thing we're gonna check if, if pagination array then we're going to map through it, so dot map, and we're going to need the index, sorry, the item, and the index. We can also call this page number or item, whatever you want to call it. So we can say page number for now. So first we're going to check if the page number or it should be item actually, that would be better because it can be page number, it could be dot, 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 so let's call it item. So if the item is not equal to dot, 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 and the item value is not equal to current page, then so if not equal to item, and it's not equal to current page. Then what we want to return is just the links. So if it's not the dot, then it will be link, which is clickable, which will have an event as well, if it is not. So return page number links. First we'll use react dot fragment to avoid unnecessary divs div wrappers and we'll set the key and sometimes when you're dealing with indexes uh, it is not good to uh, you know put the index as the uh, key uh, because you might be running multiple uh, arrays as well so it's better to put something unique so you can put a combination of the item and the index Okay, because here in this situation, even the page numbers are numbers and the index is also a number. So we can do a combination of that, okay. So we can say item dash index okay and then there will be link 
and inside of this there will be span which will have a class name of page number and then this will be item and this link should go to get page link item so this is going to get me this function is going to get me whatever the uh, URL should be where the user should go okay and then again we need to put an on click event so why don't we just take this and the page number will be the item itself okay brilliant uh, however if that's not the case so else then if let's say if it's dot 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 then we just want to show a non-link right so what we can do is we can say span we can give it a key oops and we already have the key over here so why don't we just take it from here okay so you've got the key and then again another span with the class name of current page if current page is equal to the item so I want to make it bold I want to look, make it look different so if it's a current page I want to make, make it look different maybe add a different background color etc to let the user know that he's on that page so if we check that if the current page is equal to item then let's just add a unique class like page number and then just put active okay otherwise we can just say page number okay awesome and inside of this we can have the item okay I think what we missed is the return statement return okay perfect so that's all we have to do I think this job done let's refresh there you go awesome so you can see now you've got the page number it's all working fine and you might not get the same style because I have added this style uh, let's just remove this page number class because if it's dot 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 then we don't want to put any class okay so there you go now we don't have a class for this so now if we check click uh, so I'm gonna start from the beginning you click on the blocks page so let me just close everything for now and just show that to you okay so this is the block page okay uh, starting from app.js so the user hits blocks we hit the block this function component is loaded what are we doing over here we have the nav bar which is being shown on the top okay and then we are calling the post we are actually uh, you know in including uh, importing the posts uh, over here what we're doing is we are passing the page ID as one because whenever the user lands on the block page or this could be your home page as well depending on whatever you want to do whatever you want to call it but if he lands on this page, then we want to show, uh, you know, just the page one. That's why we are hard coding this value. It should always be one to begin with. And then eventually we will, when the user clicks on it, we will change its value. So post is being imported inside of post. What, what is happening? So we're just pulling the page ID from the props because we are passing that as from props. And then uh, we are doing a parse int because we want to make sure it's an integer, it's not a string then we are defining some of the um, states uh, so we are defining current state uh, total pages loading error messages posts etc okay so over here what we're doing is when the this component is uh, you know come is rendered the first time we are going ahead and fetching the post data from the uh, rest api the custom endpoint that we have created we are first setting the loading to true so that we get a nice loader before the post is being fetched. Once the post is, post is fetched, we are setting the loading to false, so that's why that loading goes away. Then we are checking if we have the data available. We set the uh, post variable with the data that we get from the REST API, uh, which we have just shown it to you. So 
so this data right here so we are just putting all of the data there we are also setting the total number of pages from here uh, then we are setting any errors if there are then we will show the error okay and then catching any errors then this job of this function is just to loop through this data that we are putting inside of posts and uh, just load this post component so over here if the loading is true we are showing showing the loader if it isn't if you've got the data then we are getting this you know looping through the post to display all of this post and then we also showing the pagination we are passing the current page uh, the set current page method total pages all of that information and also taking care of the error if any inside of the post <coughs> we've already shown that to you we're just displaying title attachment excerpt this is simple and categories and in the pagination what we're doing is we are getting the values of current page, uh, set current page method and total pages. We are checking if there is, uh, you know, previous, we are setting a value to the is there next page and the previous page, etc. Uh, we are also calling the create page initial array, the job of which is to basically return us the data into this kind of format, right? And then we just loop through it. Uh, we're just looping through that to just show our page initial at the bottom. There you go. Okay. And then over here, we are also having the previous link and the next link. And all of these elements have got an on click event handler uh, attached to them. Uh, a job of which is just to call the set current page method. And the, this method basically is going to set the current page value to the new value. So let's say, so currently we are on the page one. That's why this is highlighted. If we click on page two, what happens is that. Uh, the current page value becomes that and since we are sending the user uh, to this URL and the URL will be page and whatever the page number is that's exactly when this page component is called because in the app.js we have mentioned that the page uh, where is it? page should be this URL page and then the ID okay so that that component is being fetched over here we are checking whatever the uh, ID is available from props so in props we are getting this ID so we're just passing this ID to again post component. So again, the same component is being loaded, which was being loaded by blocks. Uh, and exact same thing is happening over here because it's exactly the same component. The only difference is that now the page number is different. So because the page number is different, uh, the value of the current page changes. And since in use effect, we have said that every time the value of the current page changes, uh, we render this, uh, you know, just recall this function, we render the component and again uh, a fresh request will be made to that particular page number so as you can see oops inspect element network tab if i hit three a fresh request is made you can see now it's to page number three and then same cycle goes on and on right and then we have this pagination numbers you can see is generated dynamically by our function and depending on where we are it's going to put the dot accordingly so let's say we are on the five page number fifth as you can see now right so you've got a dot over here you've got a dot over here as well right that's pretty cool isn't it and you can also use the next to go to the next page you can use the priv to go to the previous page and you can just play around with it that's the page you're already on isn't that amazing guys i think um i've tried my best to make it as clear as possible i know it looks complicated but trust me when you actually do it a couple of times it will become simple okay you just need to you know break things for you that's why i put uh, you know these components separately so you're dealing with one thing at a time if you're generating an array you're just dealing with that array for that for that time 